what sport makes even Vegas stop and stare? Sure, we have passing and curveballs and even the odd dive. But for us, the back of the net is no place to be. It is Sunday morning, race day. I'm so excited. For today, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning. I've been awake since 6 o'clock. Um, people have been leaving to go to to walk walk down to Silverstone from about six o'clock. I went to the toilet at six and people were leaving then. I think gates I think gates open at six for fast track and then half six for normal ticket holders. Anyway, just waiting for Stephen to get ready and then we'll walk down. The weather's a bit iffy today. I don't think it's gonna rain. It's really difficult because we can't check the weather app because we've got no signal in the campsite but I've gone for jeans. Got a little bit cold in my shorts yesterday jeans and jumper and underneath my jumper I've got my Silverstone my, my Grand Prix t-shirt that I grabbed yesterday so hopefully it gets warm enough that I can take the jumper off uh, of <laughs> my t-shirt but yeah super excited just checking our bag making sure I've put everything in it last night I'm pretty sure I did we've got lunch in there some sandwiches and things and then also some breakfast um, water camera battery that's just currently on charge not camera battery what's this power bank power bank for phones got our radios these were pretty good they were 15 quid listen to the commentary like the commentary is played around like on the grandstands and things but when the cars go past you just can't hear a thing so got our radios it's half past seven Lots of people have started making the trek over now. I say trek, 15 minute walk. Thank you. We've arrived in our seats. We're going to watch the F3 race now. It's just about to start. I've just left the stands, Stephen stayed up there, he didn't want to come with me, there's some other stuff going on our track that he wanted to watch. I am just going to have a little wander around because after the race is finished you can get on track and I want to find out this signs up saying where the access points will be and I want to try and figure out where our closest one is because just as you get down from our stand there's a gate that could open but I don't know because there's not a sign up saying that it will open and I don't I don't know I want to figure out <laughs> I want to figure out how we get on track where the closest point is so I'm gonna have a little wander around it's heaving today like of course it is race day absolutely bonkers how many people <laughs> are here and then when I've had a little wander I'm just going to go and quickly head over to main stage because Gunther Steiner is there and I, um, I like Gunther so I'm going to go and have a little, little listen to that before I head back to the stands. You have become known for the odd swear words. Is that Gunther in everyday life? Do you like a swear? Oh, I, I mean, when I'm working, you know, I grew up in motorsport, I started off as a mechanic and uh, I started more than 35 years ago and when you grew up in this environment, when you are at work, you use it, but I think, uh, and you know, I, I never studied English, I learned English, you know, on the street, and you learned on the street from yeah. you guys, it's not like when you go to university learning English, you know. What's your favourite <laughs> swear word, would you say? That's what she just said. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Can you, uh... <laughs>
it's quite good. Um, as you said, put it on the table. We've got that in mind, but still, I think we've got a good card.
amazing race and uh, I have to say you know congratulations to Lando Norris and McLaren they, they gave us a really hard race and uh, you know it was it wasn't easy I mean Max had to make the pass uh, in the first stint and then after the safety car as well but uh, you know it was a big day for us today to win 11 races in a row and uh, match McLaren's record from 1988, so. Hang on, because we're really seeing the evolution of the teams now. And so, you know, you've got the McLarens there, and we yeah. had Lando leading the GP just at the start. This yeah. is an exciting time in the season. Well, look, I mean, Lando got a great start, and, uh, you know, we, were, we weren't expecting that. And then, uh, you know, Max had to, you know, had to make the pass. And in the meantime, Checo was having to come through the field as well. He drove a great race today, you know, coming from, from 15. But look, I, I have to say, we go all around the world and we race in front of millions of fans. And, and whilst I know you don't like what we're doing, thank you very much. You've been amazing. Well, look, if you're gonna give me shit, would you rather see my wife? Yeah. Are you gonna sort your fucking car out? <laughs> Hello. Hello. You're wondering why is she here? Well, first of all, I want to say hello to everybody at Silverstone. Woo! And then I thought, do you know what the real issue is? I thought together, maybe, Christian, you're gonna sort your bromance out with Toto. Yeah. Come on. Uh, look, Toto needs to sort his fucking car out. <laughs> hey, who's, who's the favorite? I mean, I see, I look out here and I see a lot of yellow. So can I, can I just hear, can I just hear for Lewis? Can I hear for George? And can I hear for Lando? I think they've told okay. you everything. And how about Max? Okay, I'm going to tell you, Max actually has got a really big heart. He is. He's lovely. Yuki Sonoda! And how about... Yeah, we... And of course, Alex Albon. 
Alex Albon. But hang on, hang on, hang on. On, on Tuesday, we got Daniel Ricciardo driving. Well, that does leave things on a high for us, Christian and Jerry, okay. doesn't it? Okay. Who wants to see him back? If we bring him back, will you be nicer to me? Take a selfie and then yeah, fuck on. Okay. Will you be in our selfie? Yes. Come on. Together. We're in it together. Alright, here we go. Three. Hang on. One, One two, two, three. Yeah. Woo! Fantastic. Give it up one more time for Thank Christian you very much. and Jerry. to them and they did a really great job and you know Lewis did a really really great job as well and it was obviously it was it was obviously frustrating to sort of be on the wrong side of that safety car but these things these things happen and, it, and it's racing and just um, to be honest feel really great to have had a really great weekend seeing all of you guys having so much support it means the world to me so I just want to say thank you so much How fun has that been to have them around you while you're racing? <laughs> yeah, it's been amazing. I don't, are you guys the same people as yesterday, or is it a different? Uh, I'm honestly jealous. I feel like this is like a mini Glastonbury. Like I want to spend one year like in the crowd with you guys and soak it up and, and really enjoy it. So um, <laughs> I'm not going to crowd surf. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. But. <laughs> So, uh, it makes me very happy to see them here and enjoy it. So, uh, what did you make of Uncle George's race today? Well, I just couldn't like stop. I was standing on the seat because so, I couldn't see at all, <laughs> <laughs> and I was really proud because I was like, and I was also like really annoyed because George would have come like third. Yeah. Or There's a lot of people filming here. Be careful what you say, but they're right. <laughs> You were saying? <laughs> um, because you're gonna whisper it to me first, and I'll see if you can. <laughs> <laughs> the car thing came out and it ruined us. You can tell with that. <laughs> the safety car. Ruined? No, not ruined. Yeah, exactly. How fun is it to have an uncle who's an F1 driver to have your uncle be George Russell? It's good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to keep him on safe for too long. So okay, uh... fair enough. Well, George Russell, it has been so fun to have you here. A real family affair. once but now apparently it was a good day today so we, we see you again <laughs> we are delighted to have you back 
Becker again. Congratulations on your race. We call it solid. Start P8, finish P8. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, it was a, it was a great day for us. I think, um, truthfully speaking, you know, when you look at, uh, well, we had Fernando starting behind us and then we had Checker. Um, Race where if we could score a point, it would be great. Um, and ended up, you know, scoring, scoring. I don't know how many points you get, for eight, but uh, <laughs> scoring whatever points we got, uh, four. Scoring then four points. Um, it was in honor of Lando's race. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, it makes a lot for us. We're now seventh in the constructors, which for us is it means everything. So. so. More race weekends. You know, we go obviously around the world. I know Lewis likes to say that uh, everyone's the best fans in the world, but you guys truly are. So. And Alex, you're doing so well now with this result. You're seventh in Canada. Williams is looking really good now. You're going into the rest of the season. Thank you so much. It is. It is. So we have, as we've got, we've got one hat. <laughs> one I wish. I wish we had more. It's. it's I feel like it's 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 harder, it's easier to win the lottery than have five hats for all of these people. But um, but yeah, no, it's it's been amazing. Uh, <laughs> How are you gonna decide where to throw these? Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. Anyway, let's just throw these hats. Um, let's throw that. Support. You guys have been awesome today. I feel like I want to sing a song, but I'm not going to sing a song. <laughs> Lewis, we would love you to sing a song. What are you going to start a song? <laughs> you can do one. I happily. Oh shoot, where is Roscoe? Uh, yeah, where is he? Is he here? Oh shoot. He's, uh, he's back at the motorhome, sorry. Roscoe has been so popular here. How many I know, photos he's so popular. So I've just literally just come from the um, debrief. We just had the debrief after the race and I literally rushed straight from here, so I haven't seen him. But and he's, congratulations. He's been working all weekend. Like he he was um I think he was on set this morning filming with Brad for the movie. So Brad, so he's gonna be in the new in the F1 movie, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Did you remember all his yeah, have you still not seen his stuff on on uh, on Instagram? Oh yeah, he barks on cue. Yeah, but I just want to make sure he's doing yeah, he the does. right work. We don't want to get that wrong. Uh, he'll be doing a lot of snoring tonight. That's for sure. Lewis, let's get back to you. Congratulations! What an incredibly successful weekend you made of it here at Silverstone. We are so thrilled to see you up on that podium. Yeah, if I'm really honest, guys, you know, yesterday. When I, when I came here yesterday, I didn't feel good at all. And after seeing all of you, it really lifted me up. And, um, and then we did, the, we did the parade lap today, and I got to see all of you. I knew that you guys were with us. And, and um, that's, when, honestly, there's something so special about being here and racing in front of you. And you will never fully, truly understand it, obviously, because we're in two, we're, you know, you not, can't be in the car with me physically. But I, you're right there with me in spirit throughout the race, and I just want to say a big, big, big thank you. 
And it doesn't matter who you support. You are, you are the community of this sport. You, you are the ones that make these weekends what they are. So, you know, thank you all for traveling out here, for, you know, everyone with the caps, no matter what team you got. McLaren did amazing. Yeah, I see you. We should probably touch on the McLaren. Wow, that car was fast today. I mean, thanks for that. That was a bit of yeah. fun for us to watch, wasn't it? It's crazy because Lando said that um, when he started watching, he was seven. So like, what, at 2000 or something like that. And um, it's amazing to see his journey and for him to be here. You know, he's a future world champion for sure. And so, see that we had, obviously, the McLarens and the Ferraris. And I, I really didn't expect to be up on the podium today. And, and the, you know, the safety cars haven't been on very good for me for the last like year or so. so today I was grateful to have the benefit of the safety car. Uh, the strategy in the morning was I decided to go on the medium and go long. So I was gonna go to that 50 or something on that tire and hope for a safety car and it came out. So um, I'm, I'm super grateful for that. Perfectly, and I think this weekend has to have you appearing here with this massive fans that goes on forever. The sun is so hot. Can I help you with your jacket? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so warm. <laughs> Which is it? Um, yeah. What can this so what's be? next? Oh, the song is next. I think. Is there someone performing up there? Are you guys <laughs> raving or what's I going on? <laughs> Instagram with Roscoe, how did you teach your dog to bark on command? It wasn't me, it was Kirsten. That's the lady that you see with her. But um, yeah, uh, Roscoe, he didn't he didn't wake up in the middle of the night, which is good, so I got to go to sleep, finally. And um, yeah, but that's my son, you know, so I'm pretty lucky. <laughs> but it's, in, it's, in, it's just incredible how many dog lovers and animal lovers there are out the world, you know, so acupuncture and I don't know the guy's like gets therapy every week the guy is <laughs> he's definitely uh, he's got a good doctor and a, and, a, and a good support system back home almost better than mine what is your support system like it's I, I'm very very lucky there's all the people in the background that you don't get to see but obviously within the race team I have so many people there's over 100 people here but my own personal team is between London and New York I've got Ellen who's been my assistant for like 18 years. So she's been with me since the McLaren days. Um, there's a bunch of people within the team who have been with me since I was at McLaren. Family be able to drive up is the best. And when the sun is shining in the UK, there's no better day, right? So. Lewis, how are you gonna celebrate this result? Oh no, I'm gonna get up and train hard tomorrow. I wanna win. You know, we're going to embrace the moment, be grateful for now, but we hit it harder tomorrow. And what I've got to do is got to get into the, to the factory, and we've got a lot of work. We need to, we need to reshift the, you know, shift the arrow on this car. The high speed is where we're losing the performance. If we can have the performance of the McLaren in a high speed, we will be right back there. So we've got to catch those guys up. So can you just indulge us, talk to us a little bit about your routine coming up? The routine coming up. Uh, you're saying you're going to be very busy, but we want to get a well, little I mean, bit into the nitty gritty of Lewis No, Hamilton. I'm always busy. I mean, I, tr I try to train twice a day, so I train around 6 a.m. in the morning, and then I'll get, be at the factory, or we have shoots each day. We have, I think, Thursday and Friday, we have shoots, commercial shoots, and one on Saturday. I think I've got Monday and Tuesday off. Um, oh, sorry, Tuesday and Wednesday off, which I'm grateful for. Then we go to, I think, Prague. We get to travel a bit, and then we're back here, uh, back to the factory next week on the sim pushing again for, um, but we'll be holding some big meetings and in those meetings it'll be pretty tough. We need, to, we need to reply the pressure. Everyone's working so hard anyways, but I'll be back next year, right?
Yeah. 